For this project, we used a drill, a toy wheel, scissors, a stick, string, screws and nuts, and last but not least, safety glasses. Safety first! when you've got lipstick. All done! We will now show that once you put a rotation onto the wheel, it will become perpendicular to the table. As you can see, the device topples over because of gravity. Once we added a rotation onto the wheel, it stayed upright once put in a flat surface, therefore defying gravity. As you can see, the only thing that is spinning is the wheel and not the rod. We will now show the effects of torque on a wheel when attached to a string. As you can see, the device keeps perpendicular with the string but as it loses its rotation, it falls down. We will now recreate the device in a larger scale and verify if the effects of torque still apply. In this experiment, we'll be using a drill, safety glasses, a thin rod, two bearings, nuts and screws, a hole saw, tape, Allen wrenches, and two flywheels. This is off to Home Depot. <laughs> we decided to build at Home Depot just in case it didn't work. It didn't, didn't work. work. For this attempt, we decided to use spare ceiling fan parts. It weighs 40 pounds. After rotating the device with approximately 2500 RPM, we were able to lift the device with ease. We can now conclude that by adding torque to a wheel, it will seem to be weightless and going against gravity. Further demonstrating the effects of a physics phenomenon called gyroscopic precession.